Yes, may not be so sweet though, huh? Yeah, that's right. Really got to watch out through tomorrow night. Then conditions will begin to uh, uh, taper down with respect to severe weather coming Friday and into the weekend here as we cool down. Severe weather mostly across the eastern seaboard right now and more activity here for the Intermountain West. Some of this is a result of a strong area of low pressure over the Pacific Northwest moving into the northern Rocky Mountain region. A lot of that energy is going to be moving right here into the northern plains. A lot of the atmospheric parameters, dynamics are at play here, giving us that potential for a severe weather outbreak by tomorrow mid afternoon across Montana and then farther east into the evening. 74 right now in Bismarck, 81 in Mulbridge, 70 in Minot. We're not too warm for most areas here. Uh, the warmest that to the south and uh, west of us here, Glasgow at 80 degrees, but only 66 in Devils Lake, 69 in Grand Forks and Fargo. Wind is fairly light, not too strong here, now becoming more southeasterly, and that's the trend all day tomorrow. Western North Dakota, eastern Montana, southeast winds helping to transport moisture toward the northern plains. Right now it's comfortable. The dew point is not that air you can wear factor like we had a couple of days ago. It will begin to increase here tonight into tomorrow, but right now we're somewhat comfortable, becoming a little bit humid here in a few places, but let's look at the source region of our air. And again, that number one ingredient for strong to severe thunderstorms is moisture, and we've got that conveyor belt set up from the Gulf of Mexico where the air is a lot more oppressive here for the central and southern plains, eventually working its way into the northern plains, but that'll take all night to get here, but be in place for tomorrow. So in the morning, we're looking at a chance for a few showers. A thunderstorm potential does exist, but this is not the main event. A little bit of a front runner on a warm front, producing some showers and storms. It'll be later in the afternoon as that actual low gets a little bit closer, trailing cold front. That'll be the ignition point here for showers and storms. And some of these discrete supercells early on by mid to late afternoon into early evening are going to likely be severe. And this is about the time period. I expect the potential for some tornadoes here around four, five, six, seven o'clock here late tomorrow afternoon into the evening and then those thunderstorm chances continue moving off into central North Dakota by eight, nine, ten o'clock. So everything pressing off toward the east here as we begin to see a little bit more of a stable atmosphere farther toward the west. So we're going to be keeping a close eye on this. This is how the trend looks right now, but we're still looking at about 24 hours out before things really get hopping. Cooling down and the weather calming down by the time we get to late tomorrow night into Friday. But the prospects for tornadoes, not zero, but in that low classification for any one particular point. I do think, though, somewhere in our first warm viewing area, there's a fairly high likelihood we'll have at least one touchdown. Let's hope not, but that, again, atmospheric parameters are at play here. Hail and wind, the primary threats over golf ball size hail, maybe baseball size hail, and winds in excess of 70 miles per hour. Given the general fast movement of these storms, I think flooding was somewhat low, but again, heavy rain for a period as they move on through. Cool summer day, Saturday, but at least no severe weather. Highs in the 60s. All right. Thank you very much. You're welcome.